else. IPS stands for Implane Switching. VA stands for Vertical Alignment. It's the technology of the LCD panel. IPS has better color reproduction, better viewing angles. It is a richer, more vibrant experience with better contrast. Basically, the only reason people go with TN panels and VA panels is their compromises for less money. IPS is a superior experience. Um, every screen we have in this room is IPS. The three monitors over there are IPS. This one you can't see here is IPS. These are both IPS. That monitor's IPS. That monitor's IPS. I don't do VA panels. Yes. VA panel sucks. Once you've used IPS, you'll go, well, I'm never using one of those things again. The only reason anybody uses VA, well, that's not true. There's two reasons. Some of the early high re refresh rate panels were only available in TN and VA. Right. But now we have 165 hertz IPS, and we actually now have 200 hertz IPS panels. Mm. The the two the twenty five hundred dollar ultra wides are 200 hertz. Yeah. But I mean that's a lot of money. Um. I would not be surprised if in the next couple of years just VA disappears and everything becomes IPS. Because now we've got one millisecond, 165 hertz for under $500. Why would you? Uh, look, it wasn't that long ago that a 27-inch 1440p IPS monitor would have A, had a 5 to 6 millisecond response time, yeah. and B, would have been $1,500. $1,500? This is why VA exists. This is why TN exists. But they're not anymore. Now it's under $500. Wow. There is now a $160 price difference between, between IPS and VA. $320 versus $480 on a monitor that you could keep for 10 years. That's very true. This is a nothing burger difference in the scheme. You could go through three computer upgrades and keep that monitor if you wanted to. Why? Why? Why would you stranglehold your computing experience and get a compromised panel? You know what this is? This is the person who takes their Ferrari to discount tire and says, what's the cheapest tire you got? No, 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 no. You're building a $1,500 to $2,000 computer and you care about $160 and the screen you're going to look at for years? Why are they saying that VA's got better contrast? No, it doesn't. No VA panel I've ever looked at does. Mm -mm. Um, I've reviewed several VA panels. Yeah. We actually have a VA panel upstairs. You know the one that we initially put on XD's computer? Yeah. No, that's not the one he's keeping. But remember that MSI one? I do. But see, when we reviewed that, um, you know the, the ViewSonic in there is VA. Oh, yeah, that one is. It's fine. It's fine for gaming. But your Dell at home is nicer. Yeah, it is. Do you want me to take your Dell away and put the VSonic there? I'll take your computers away from you. Send that to me. That VA also has a little bit of ghosting to it. IPS tends to not have any ghosting. The only downside to IPS is panel bleed, the backlight bleed. So if you have like true blacks, you tend to have a little bit of glow around it. One thing, you know, here's why he said that about contrast. Pure black screens... Yeah, the only reason he would say that is backlight bleed. IPS panels don't do true blacks very well oh. because of the way the backlight works. Mm. It's the one compromise. Yeah. You'll, if, if you put up a black screen on an IPS panel, you get a bit of a glow. On a VA panel, it's going to be darker. It just depends on what one your eyes like.